Hey everyone, Claudio and Cena. Thanks for joining me today. I'm going to share with you a little bit about vendor management. Have you felt like the market's shifting a little bit at the moment? I don't know in Sydney and Melbourne, but clearance rates are starting to come back a little bit. Speaking to some of my clients out there today, it's all about vendor management and positioning price correctly. So what I want to share with you is six tips exactly how to vendor manage to get a successful outcome and sale. Not just for you, but for your clients. You see, it all starts up with a set to sell. The pros in the market have been doing this all the time. The amateurs, guess what? They're shooting below their standards. And in the Titan market, guess what's going to happen? These amateurs are going to be wished away and the pros are going to make serious money. It's going to separate the agents who are rich and the agents who are poor. So let me start what you first should do with vendor management. Number one, set to sell meeting. Easy to do, but easy not to do. Have that meeting just before the first open. What you've got to do is talk about benchmarks. And the benchmarks that we're looking for when you talk to your client is something around the long lines of, we expect 15 to 20 groups to come through this Saturday. We also should be expecting somewhere between two to three contracts being requested, and perhaps three to four people coming back for second inspections. You see, when you put benchmarks, you're putting some seeds into the vendor's mind of what their expectation should be after the first open. So when you have that vendor meeting, which is number two, weekly by the way, you can talk to them about what were some of the benchmarks that got achieved over that weekend. If you haven't reached them, guess what happens? It's very easy to have a candid conversation and re-strategize for the following weekend. You see, the amateurs in this market are leaving everything to the last weekend, which is just before auction, the third week or the fourth week. Mm. Ain't gonna work, it's gonna be too late. So make sure you have those weekly vendor meetings and have those benchmarks set up at the set to sell. Obviously, daily communication is step number three. You've gotta be doing that all the time. The fourth one is really about, you know, when you're gonna do a vendor summary report, you've gotta do your weekly vendor report, but also the fifth one is the vendor summary report. So what does that mean? It's just gathering all the data, all the information, putting it over three pages. For example, what's currently on the market, a recent sale that could impact their price before auction, and all the hits around you know, web hits and how many people came through the property, and what does that data relate to? If you wanna move people, you need to have facts and evidence, and that will move them into action. Finally, and the sixth one is all about the reserve meeting but also when you have the reserve meeting is following it up with a summary of what was said at that meeting. What do they expect to happen on the day? How many registered bidders? But putting it in a good email or a good letter just before the auction day. Or you could do that summary as well, that vendor final summary report if you're doing a private treaty sale by week four. Remember, this is about getting home sold as quickly as possible in this market if it's changing. But what's pivotable is the vendor management and having those pillars nice and tight with some really good foundation. I hope these tips have served you well today and I look forward to seeing you next time and go out there and sell more homes.